Hello. This is going to be a fairly short, but I think a fairly important Qigong video. Um, talking about the most important thing in Yifa Qigong. Now, more important than any of the movements, which you're going to see in the, a couple of videos have already been released, and more will be released that will cover all of the basic movements of Yifa Qigong, the level one movements. But more important than that, and the fundamental part of Yifa practice that, that, that is underlying all of that is Qi breathing. And breathing is the most important aspect of correct Qigong. Okay? So, for a proper Qi breathing, the key is that you should breathe down from the belly. Specifically, there's a point just under the belly button called the lower dantian. It's the first um, significant point or energy center, or whatever you want to call it, that uh, is where qi will accumulate when you're doing qigong practice. Okay, The system of qigong works by drawing in qi into that space first, into that whole area, the lower third of the uh, of the belly is called the lower dantian. Um, sorry, it's called the first furnace. The lower dantian is this point just under the belly button, and the first furnace is this whole band around uh, the lower part of the torso. Right. Then this is the second furnace and the third furnace. Right. There's also the the heart dantian. And there's also the Tianmu or the Celestial Eye. And these are points that are very important in Qigong, as are the central column, that is to say the center line of, of meridians that go down either side of the spinal column. And then there's the immediate or outer um, body, the, the, the immediate energy body, you could call it. So like the aura. And then there's um, the external body, which is the wider area of energy. It's about an arm's length away from the body itself. And so these are the areas that you work when you're doing Qigong practice, Yi Fa Qigong. So the, the first preliminary exercise that you saw that works clarifying a field all around the body. And then you're going to see the second exercise works on that near energy body with the area about an inch away from your physical body. But all of this is predicated on correct qi breathing. And so the qi breathing is itself very simple to do. All you have to do is have the back relatively straight. You can be sitting or you can be standing. Right. With the back straight, you concentrate your attention, your main consciousness, it's called, on the spot just below the belly button, the lower dantian. And you breathe from the belly, not from the chest, not from the throat. You know, people in Western society, well, in, in most societies, tense up as they get older and they breathe from the chest. The Qigong masters say that you have to learn how to breathe like an infant again. And if you look at a baby, a baby is breathing from its belly. Small children breathe from their belly. And you need to do that in order to cultivate the qi, to draw in the qi. And the exercise part of the cultivation, when you're doing the physical movements, that's only um, a way to concentrate qi and to open up those meridians and those parts of the body that can then allow you to draw in a great amount of qi all at once into the lower dantian into, and into that first furnace where it then begins to, to circulate and then to circulate qi all through the body in an even and harmonious fashion. But that circulation is maintained throughout the day by proper qi breathing. So you want to be breathing properly when you're doing the exercises 
And you also want to remember, as much as possible, to breathe properly at all other times. So you should try to do qi breathing. You know, I say you should try to do the qigong exercises as much as four times a day, but not the preliminary ones, but the the first level exercise, which I haven't released on video on YouTube yet, but will will be coming up shortly. But you should be doing qi breathing much more often than that, if you can remember to. And the thing about it is you don't need to be sitting apart doing nothing uh, or standing and doing nothing. You can be in a line, you can be on, in a car, you can be in front of your desk, you can do it while watching TV, you can do it in almost any circumstance because it doesn't occupy all of your attention nor does it require any special environmental circumstances. So you just have to remember to breathe from the Dantian point and the more that you do this, the more chi that you cultivate. It has an immediate effect obviously on, on your relaxation level, on your attention, uh, but then it also has the more important effect from the point of view of Yi Fa Qi Gong of permitting that Qi circulation to continue throughout the day in a regular fashion, even as the concentrated Qi that you drew in in the exercise um, circulates around the first furnace and then the Qi itself circulates all through the body. So this is the most important thing to remember. And if you don't do any other kind of Qigong practice, even if you don't do the other exercises, if you're just watching this video because you've watched my other videos or um, out of curiosity, and you don't really want to do Qigong, I would strongly suggest you try to do Qi breathing because it's, um, it's a first step in almost any meditation type of practice, it has an effect that's both on the body and on the consciousness, right? It changes the body because it relaxes the body, it draws the breath deeper in, it, it has, you know, obvious effects on your immediate health, but then it also has effects on your consciousness. And this is the part not to forget, it's the foundation of anything else you're going to do in Yifa Qigong.